What's going on YouTube? Modeling up back at you. Uh, sorry, it's been a long time since I've been able to get a build update kind of up for you guys. Um, just a lot of things going on. And so wanted to give you an update though on where the Dixie Jeep is. So at this point, went ahead, laid down white. Uh, the white that I used was from Spastix, which is their solid white paint. This stuff is really great. Like shaken up right out of the bottle sprays nice goes down beautifully got the decals applied um, i went ahead and again used in this case the gravity clear which is a 2k clear uh, with an activator and a thinner if you pick it up it'll come in this now note this is gravity colors out of uh, Spain, not Gravity Colors out of the U.S. I've had problems with their shipping out of the U.S. one. Uh, the couple of times that I've had to get colors from them because they were the only ones that produced them. Um, where the one out of Spain prior to COVID was perfectly reliable and great. Continuing on though, used a base color, just a tan base color for the carpeting. Um, I am going to come back and lightly color in a little bit over here where it had was a little bit too light of a color. Um, I didn't have a dark kind of flocking material, so I kind of had to mix it up and try to make it all work together. And it kind of worked for the most part. Um, as you can see, it looks like a you know carpet. Again, with the reference photos that I had, it was a carpeted Jeep, so... Uh, going with that look, the seats were from Vallejo, and then just clear-coated to protect them, because again, Vallejo paint, extremely thin paint, or fragile paint, if it's not clear-coated. So, next step will be to go through, get the black trimming around on here, I'll use some silver on the reflectors, and then um, probably to Mia's clear red for the tail light section, clear orange for the turn signal. It just really comes out great uh, with the black, uh, with the uh, silver backing on that. Uh, still got to get the couple of parts painted in the flat black. Um, the engine, I think I had showed last time, but it is pretty much done, ready to go in, uh, hand brushed. Uh, the only thing I have left to hand brush is going to be the transaxle. Get that. Um, into place, but to be honest, this is kind of going on the back burner. Um, I've just been working on a lot of auto kits here lately and just starting to get a little, I guess, burned out is the best way to put it. So, I'm gonna kind of do a quick other build here for uh, Christmas time. Uh, just something that's a little bit fun that I've been wanting to do. So, that is the latest update on Dixie. As you can see, the clear coat. I'm, okay. I'm relatively happy with it, but I've had problems with this clear coat not always going down the smoothest. Um, I just completed another kit. It's the uh, Buick that I think I had shown on the last video. For that, I used uh, Tamiya's X22, yep, X22 clear, uh, split with uh, Mr. Hobby or Mr. Color leveling thinners. That went down beautifully um, because once I got done, lightly missed it over just a coat of the leveling thinners and it went down not 100% glossy mirror smooth like what, um, you know, a 2K clear could do or something like that. But to me, the 2K clears where it's that deep shine and stuff like that, it just doesn't look right in the scale. Like, um in a 112 scale bike or something like that, it'd look fine. But on the truck that, the monster truck that I built, um, and the tiny Lund AM, uh, sorry, Galaxy that I built, it just doesn't look right to my eyes. So um, I'm probably going to just kind of use up, um, I got some larger kits, uh, some 112 scale bikes. I'll probably go ahead and utilize the clear on that um, and get that used up. But I think I'm going to start using, like I said, the X22 split with the, or cut with the uh, Mr. Color leveling thinners uh, for most of my auto builds going forward. So um, you guys can uh, stick around. I've got 
couple of auto kits I'm really wanting to build next year. Uh, obviously, I'll get this one finished on up. Um, I still got to go through detail paint out all of the interior here and then get this uh, glued into place. So, yeah, it's uh, coming along. Hopefully, it'll be only another part or so. But wanted to give you an update here right before Christmas as to where this build is sitting. So hope you guys are enjoying it. If you have any questions or comments, definitely post down below. And you know, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Um, welcome to all of the new uh, people that I've had come on here over the last few months. So it's been uh, great getting to see the uh, subscription numbers shooting up. So in either case... Have a wonderful rest of your day and a Merry Christmas.